Hi all, this is Andy from Tennis with Andy, and just following up on my review of the Diadem Elevator. So I've been hidden with it for maybe three weeks now, and it's an excellent frame, uh, really solid, nice blend of sort of the classic feel with uh, modern day technology. Um, 330 swing weight, so it's, I found that it really gives me some nice pop on my first serve. I'm getting an ad adequate kick on the second. Um, good feel on the forehand in terms of it comes through at just the right, at just the right speed. Um, backhand has been a little bit of a struggle for me, and I think um, for me, I generally prefer headlight, more headlight uh, rackets for my backhand. Um, and volleys too, uh, they've, they've been good, but uh, I always, I hold my ProSet 85s to the top of the, the top of the um, mountain when in terms when I'm looking at volleys and these fall just a bit short so so the experiment that I want to try was if I was able to tail weight the racket if I can somehow improve my backhand and uh, give me a little bit more solid feel on the volleys so here's the uh, racket again um, so actually I have this strung with Solstice Power um, Black uh, it's pretty good thus far. I'm still going to experiment with um, my string of choice, with the, which is RPM uh, power. But what I did was I took apart the butt cap. This is a 4 and 3 eighths. And I looked and saw inside it was foam filled. So um, tail weight in by adding silicone or blue tack to handle was a non-starter for this because there was no space. So then the other typical way to tail weight is to add lead tape underneath the grip and um, either lead tape underneath the grip or to replace the grip with, um, with a leather grip. So I took the grip apart and to my surprise, I saw that it came apart in two. So there's some sort of um, synthetic uh, top layer to the grip and then at the bottom uh, it was a harder layer. I called Diadem, they said that this is their uh, part of their racket, so the, the, the grip actually comes in, it, it's a two-part grip and it's in one package. Um, what happened was probably the tape or the glue that they used to hold it together came apart as I was pulling it. So lesson number one, if you plan on tail weight in your racket, um, just have a replacement grip on hand because uh, with this diadem uh, grip, it comes apart if you take it, take it out. So number two, uh, the grip is actually, the stock diadem grip is called like the vintage feel uh, replacement grip. Um, it's 1.8 uh, uh, millimeters thick, so it's thicker than most leather grips, and it's uh, sort of on the higher end in terms of synthetic grips. So it starts to get into um, the comfort grips in terms of uh, the thickness level. But this is not, this is, this grip actually provided a good blend of uh, feel. Um, not as much feel as a leather grip, but again, I don't need all that feel and comfort. What surprised me actually is when I took the grip apart and replaced it with a Wilson leather grip, I, I wound the Wilson leather grip a bit tight. Um, the Wilson uh, version, the leather grip, had two, was two grams less in terms of overall weight than the stock. And that surprised me. Um, and that's something that uh, consumers should be aware um, if they plan on replacing with, with other grips. And then number two, uh, the width uh, is one where um, it's something to be aware as well. So if you plan on just playing with the stock grip, I recommend going a size below what you normally buy for rackets. So I normally do like a four and a half. And with this, I'm perfectly fine with a four and three eighths and doing one stock um, over, or doing one over grip over the, the, the three eighths. Uh, but if you plan on replacing this with um, a grip that's not 
uh, the, this di diadem field grip, if you want to replace it with one that you normally replace it with, then I would say uh, I would say go with the four and uh, or go with, go with what you normally go with in terms of grips, so you don't have to go down lower, right? So just reading from the diadem website about this grip, uh, the di the diadem vintage feel hybrid replacement grip gives you a solid feel of leather with the comfort of a new age polyurethane. Thinner than the Comfort Max, the stable grip is ideal for the player who likes to keep a fresh overgrip over a solid base. This is a standard on all Elevate rackets. So the material is actually a non-woven polyurethane with leather fused underneath. So I was right, it's actually two parts, um, two parts in one, the leather underneath and then the polyurethane on the top. So, but I think at the end of the day, what I realized is that the, the stock, I, I, I like the stock version really good and like it feels great on my forehand. Um, the backhand, I think I just need to uh, just work on staying down low and uh, really brushing up to get that, that top spin that I like. And then for, um, for my volleys, it's, I think I'm gonna experiment with strings. Uh, this, this, this one I have here, uh, the Solstice Power Black, it gives me good spin, but I think I'm gonna go uh, try the other racket with um, my string of choice, which is Babolat RPM Power. But overall, um, I think it's a great racket. I re highly recommend uh, demoing this and also uh, checking out this grip if, if you're, you're satisfied with your current racket, but you just want to try out a different grip. Um, I think they, they sell this for like eight bucks on their site. And it's, uh, it's one that sort of blends the, the nice feel of, of leather with, a, with the comfort of a synthetic. All right, so that's my part two of my review. Hopefully I've, I'm able to upload some of the, the video footage of me actually playing with the racket and um, you'll see my aggressive, sometimes reckless game. All right, uh, this is Tennis with Andy. I'm Andy, and uh, stay tuned. Next time, I'll be talking about my overall uh, thought process on how you choose the right equipment and um, pretty much just framing it as framing the problem first from an optimization point of view because there are a lot of variables that go into it. So just first step is to understand uh, the issue, and then we can address it. But thanks again. Hope you're having a great day and enjoy your tennis.